Hello, and welcome to Adam's Lunch, where I eat food, trying something for the very first time on camera, always giving you an honest review. Sometimes my friends buy me this food. Sometimes I buy this food for myself because I'm out and I see something super exciting and I can't resist, and that's exactly what is happening today. Look at this, if you can see it. Nacho cheese pretzel craving chunks, home style gourmet pretzels. Not your ordinary pretzel, and that is certainly true. I think they mean the homestyle gourmet pretzel is not your ordinary pretzel. But if you combine nacho cheese and pretzels and it comes out tasting good, that is certainly not your ordinary pretzel. And I am very excited. Some might say the stoke is high. That is not something I would say, but there are some who might describe my emotions as the stoke is high. But just throwing that out there. Um, it is made by the Dakota Style family, which I looked it up. They're actually a family. They got bought out, but they started as a husband and wife team out of South Dakota. These are chunks, which I think is just important to remind you all. They're not going to be whole pretzels, but they're going to be bits of pretzels. And something I found really interesting, you might be able to see this here. They actually have the nutrition facts have your serving size, which is one ounce. And then they've got the nutrition facts for the whole bag, which I assume is because I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna think it's so delicious, and then I'm just gonna eat through the entire bag so they just want me to know, they know ahead of time. I'm just gonna to wanna to know what the nutrition facts are about that. Well, that's a little indication to say tear here, so let's do it. Uh, it is resealable though, so <laughs> despite the fact that they're expecting me to eat the whole bag, I can't seal it up again. I don't know what I'm smelling here. Plastic and pickles, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It is chunks, though. So you can see here, um, like little, like, you know, real pretzels, and they've just been broken up. Um, it's kind of interesting. You've got the bits, and they're definitely kind of oily, and that nacho cheese flavor is just jam-packed in there, because you could tell there's not much white on a lot of these. And then the salt has actually been squashed into some of the ends of the bits, which is pretty cool. Ah, now I'm smelling some... I don't know if I'd call it nacho cheese, but I'm smelling something. Well, I'm really struggling to wrap my head around all of this. I think it's obvious that I'm not blown away. <clears throat> I am enjoying it. I have to say that there's a strong flavor, but I can't really pinpoint what that flavor is, like that dill pickle smell that I smelled when I opened the back. I'm almost getting like a hint of dill in this, but it's also a little spicy. I wouldn't say nacho cheese. That's the one thing, that's the one flavor I would clearly say is not on these pretzels. They're salty. You get that the hunks of salt that are really squashed in there on the ends of the bits. You taste that while you're eating in that club. The pretzels are okay. I wouldn't say the pretzel itself is, is the most extraordinary pretzel I've ever had. I think maybe it's a little denser than I'm used to for hard pretzels, but it's good. I guess the aftertaste has almost like a cheese, like a nacho liquid cheese essence. 
But I think that's only because nacho cheese is in my mind. I'm, I'm certainly getting my fingers dirty from this. That's a good sign. You know, I don't know if I'm going to buy another bag. But I think I'm going to happily eat this bag as a snack and enjoy the flavor. There's a lot of flavor. The pretzels are unique, but not necessarily the best pretzels I've ever had. The flavor is enjoyable. A little slight kick to it. Maybe that cheese essence in the aftertaste. Yeah. Still, I think I'm trying really hard to like it. And I have to say that I, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I thought nacho cheese pretzel, this is going to knock me out of the park. But, it, I think maybe what I'm comparing them to in my mind are those Snyder pretzel bits, especially the buffalo wing ones, which are just delicious. And I think one thing that's different, maybe, that that um, the Dakota style family could, could do is the Snyder ones are even smaller bits. So I think you get even more flavor to the inside ratio. So it's even, it's just packed with flavor. And here, you get the flavor on the outside and then you chew and you get the pretzel. So, you know, I think I'm just searching for things. These are good. I'm not gonna say that they're bad. I'm not even gonna say they're fine because I think the flavor is interesting. But I, I just don't see myself running out to get the bag again. And that dill, I don't know. Can you bear with me for a minute while I read through the ingredients real quick and make sure there's no dill in here? Cheddar and Romano cheese, that's cool. Salt, tomato powder, sugar and spice, and expeller pressed canola oil is nice. Um. Jalapeno pepper. Not seeing anything about dill, but I am really tasting some, some dill in here. But anyway, nacho cheese, pretzel craving chunks by the Dakota style family. Certainly not your ordinary pretzel, but not a pretzel I'm going to be seeking out again. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you.